The woolly mammoth, the distant furry relative of today's Asian elephant, roamed icy regions of the Northern Hemisphere for at least half a million years. The last large populations died off some 10,000 years ago with isolated groups surviving another few millennia before complete extinction. But now the woolly mammoth may be headed for a comeback thanks to a new scientific breakthrough. NBC's Morgan Chesky has our Sunday Spotlight. They're small, some would say even cute. So this is Chip on the left and that's Dale on the right. Two woolly mice made famous, born on the cutting edge of science. These are the most precision edited animals on the planet. We're not happy about it, we're thrilled about it. The DNA breakthrough by Colossal Biosciences, all part of hey, CEO Ben Lamb's plan to resurrect the woolly mammoth and other extinct species and return balance to ailing ecosystems. We actually took the genes that made a mammoth a mammoth, mapped them to mice, and in only one month, we produced living, healthy little mice. Colossal altering seven mammoth genes, such as hair thickness, color, and ability to store fat, key for cold environments before applying them to Chip and Dale. So we're here to tell people before woolly mammoths come mice? Before woolly mammoths, we get woolly mice. This is a validation step on our way uh, to the mammoth. We first met Lamb a year ago when Colossal shared their mammoth undertaking with us. Now, inside their Dallas research lab, student drawings are pouring in from all over the country, capturing an excitement the Colossal team is hoping to build on. As crazy as this idea is, you believe the science backs it up? Yeah, science absolutely backs it up. Colossal's chief animal officer, Matt James, says their woolly mice breakthrough is about much more than mammoths. Stressing the same science can help save endangered species and usher a new era of conservation. So what I see ahead of us today is more success of returning species from extinction, returning functions to degraded ecosystems in a way that can help fight the biodiversity crisis. Critics, including some scientists, question the potential impact of returning an animal that died off 4,000 years ago and whether it's the best use of science. But the colossal team says they're moving full speed ahead. To the skeptics who say Colossal's playing God, what do you say? I would argue that we have a real issue as humanity of playing God every day with nature. I think what we're doing is trying to reverse the course, try to repair the sins that humanity's already committed. With Colossal's first woolly mammoth on track for 2028, these two more than happy to soak up the spotlight till then. For Sunday Today, Morgan Chesky, Dallas. Fascinating stuff. We'll see where it heads. Morgan, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take Today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.